Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the next step in our basic editing videos. So far we have talked about the healing brush tool and the clone stamp tool and also about cropping. The next thing I want to show you is how using the sharpening tool can enhance your portraits just a little bit more. Again, we are working on the duplicate layer. We never want to work on our original photo because we have the option of either masking off something that we've changed in order to go back to the original or deleting our duplicate layer in order to go back to the original. But if you're working on your original, then you have to start all over again to figure out whatever changes you've made and sometimes that's harder to do. So we always want to be organized and we always want to work on a duplicate layer. So here we go. We're going to look at the sharpening tool. And this is the little triangle over here and you'll see it has blur, sharpen, and smudge. So today we're going to look at sharpening. That's mostly what I use for portraits. I'm going to select the sharpening tool and I'm going to use this on her eyes. So I want to make it a little bit bigger than what it is right now. Let's do 83 looks good. And we're gonna put our strength at 50%. Because we can always add more. You don't want to be too dramatic right away. So let's zoom in to 200% again, just so we have a little bit of a better view of what we're trying to accomplish. And we're just gonna move over to her eyes. There we go. And Actually, I make this a little bit smaller. And so what I want to do is sharpen this part of her eye. So you can see that when I just brush over with the sharpening tool, you're starting to see some more detail in her eye that you didn't see before. And what this does, we're going to do it on her eyelashes too, is it sort of brings some attention to the eye that wasn't there before. Now on this portrait, we're going to do a lot more to add some dimension to her eye, but this is just one small tool that you can use. So let's see, when we zoom out, you can look and here's your before, I mean here's your after, and there's our before. So you can see how far we've come. Her eyes don't stand out that much right now, but trust me, once we start to do the other parts, it will really start to make sense to you why we added the sharpening. We're next going to talk about dodging and burning, which is a huge part of portrait photography, and that will help to enhance both the eye and the overall look of her face. So we look forward to seeing you next time, and enjoy our journey with Photoshop with us.